Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a Logic X tip and tip. Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you are checking out a Logic X tip and trick video for ADSR sounds. So in this video, we're gonna be looking at the most efficient way in Logic X to get really great sounding guitar strums using a synth or some type of software instrument, whether it's a contact library, a synthesizer like Serum, which we'll be using in the tutorial. And it's using one of the lesser uh, kind of talked about features inside of Logic X, and that is the scripter. So if you don't know what that is, Logic X came with these MIDI effects right here. And one of the things that was a big selling point with the kind of marketing materials when they added this feature to Logic was things like the arpeggiator and the chord trigger. So the chord trigger, you can play one note and it will play a whole chord for you. The arpeggiator, arpeggiates, gates, that whole stuff, right? Well, there's actually this thing called the scripter. And what it is, is it's a JavaScript environment that will allow you to create custom scripts if you're a code guy and you know, understand JavaScript to tell Logic and the scripter how to handle MIDI events coming into the uh, DAW. There's all these great presets though inside the scripter. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at a great one that's, that's, that's very efficient for guitars. It's called the Guitar Strummer. So this is the front end of the strummer. You can open up the script if you feel more comfortable in a scripting environment. But I will. I do want to point out that when you open it, yours may look like this, and you may be wondering where all the other controls are. Well, you just have to make sure that you go into a larger window. So you have these two sections over here. You have the, how it's going to handle the strumming, things like uh, the, the rhythm, up, down, alternate, that sort of stuff. You have velocity curves. You have the vision of the strum, so that's kind of how staggered out the notes are in the strum, and we'll talk about that in a second. You can also have it arpe arpeggiate sounds. And then over here, you get to kind of set up your chord assignments. By default, it's really weird. It's like, uh, we'll look at it on a new track, actually. The default one's pretty weird. So let's open that up, and we will choose the guitar strummer, make this larger. And you'll see that if I play a C note, it's a C major, a C sharp is an A major, a D is a D minor, uh, a D sharp is a C minor. So there's really not a lot of rhyme or reason music theory wise as to what's happening there, but that's fine because you can just set up your own um, chords from this chord menu selector. So right now I have gone through before I did the tutorial and I selected for an F chord, F minor. And then for, um, I selected a, for the C chord, I wanted to play a C minor. And then for a D sharp, I wanted to play a D sharp major. So now I can play a little chord progression. So if I, ha I have a pluck sound loaded up in Serum. Let me play that without the scripture on. Sounds like this. It's, kind of, it's a guitar pluck sound. Now let's turn the scripture back on. And if I play an F, you see that it kind of sounds weird. Uh, there's an F to a C to a D sharp. But you have to get this to, to take effect. The transport bar has to be playing. So let's try that. So you get the idea. I do have the LFO tool on. Let's take that off. All right. And if you play with a sustain pedal, which I don't have set up right now on this keyboard, it will sustain the length of how long the chords held out, which is really cool. So let's look at these different uh, division strums here because that's really important to getting an accurate guitar sound when you're using something like a synth. So we're gonna, we're, I'm using Serum for two reasons. I really like this pluck preset, and then also it has the keyboard so you can see this. So let's open up the scripture again, and I'm gonna set the division strum to quite high. We'll go to about 26 milliseconds. Now watch when I hold, when I hit an F, I'm just hitting an F note, it's gonna turn the whole thing into a chord. Look at the Serum keyboard down here, and you'll see that it's staggering when each note is played, and it will take 26 milliseconds, so watch. See how it starts down at the F and then kind of trills or glissandos up? Now 26 seconds isn't incredibly natural for a guitar. That'd be quite a bit, but 11 to 15 to 16 milliseconds sounds really nice.
right? And you just heard me playing a melody over the top. Uh, there, there's a split, so the higher notes on your keyboard, they'll just continue to play notes. So it's a really fun way, whether you're, maybe you don't play guitar, maybe you're trying to do that EDM style guitar and you want to get that strum pattern. It can be a pain in the butt to do that all in the MIDI editor. When you record this in, it's just going to record one note. So I'll record something in real quick. So if we look at the uh, piano roll for this, you can see clearly it's just one note. That is because the scripter is telling it to play the chord. So if we play this now. We have strummed guitar chords, incredibly easy, incredibly quick, and they sound fairly realistic and they'll definitely work for genres of EDM like progressive house, uh, tropical house, anything that you want a guitar and dubstep, melodic dubstep, even with pop and hip hop, this would be really cool. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. I'll see you next time.